Well, we are live at 11.05. It's the beginning of a new week. It's Monday morning. I am BZ. This is Spirit Cars. And live at 11.05 is brought to you by spiritcars.com. Go check us out. Um, lots of cool kits and parts and pieces. That's our specialty as we build, uh, what I say, the most complete kit on the market. We do from a 23 to a 34 and everything in between. Model A's, 32's, Roadsters, Coupes, Sedans, the whole deal. So there's the advertisement part of the thing. We've been working on Rodney's car. Uh, we're calling it the 2XLT. Uh, it's been extended another four inches beyond our extended T, and it's, um, it's a lot of things, cool things about the car that Rodney put together already. He's got a it's just pretty cool car. So anyway, we're putting ghost flames on it. Body's been painted, working on it, and he wants it to barely, you just barely see it. Get it into the light. He said, uh, he had uh, had it before, and it, uh, it was two weeks before he realized it had flames on it. So we're <laughs> going for that same look. So I'm just going to talk about laying out flames today a little bit, and uh, and maybe specifically about the ghost flames. What we've done is, uh, if you've heard me talk about custom paint, I really like DBC 500. It's a Dupont or PPG product. It's a it's a clear or color blender clear. Um, it's like a base clear dries pretty quick. You can add your pearls to it. You can go over uh, what you've already painted um, to kind of see the depth of what you're going to have. So we've, we're starting with some DBC clear is what we're, we're building all this stuff in. I've got some uh, different color transparent colors. We're going on an orange car so we made a test panel um, to kind of see what it was going to do. When you're going with the ghost flames on top of a another color you really need to uh, pick your colors carefully if you're going to take a color you can see okay that's yellow or this is red or this is you know whatever um, you can see that but when you get into these transparent colors we took a little bit of the 500 clear and just a drop or two and it's I mean it is literally transparent I mean I could dip my finger in and you, you see a little bit of a difference but barely where We've got some yellows. This is an orange type color. We got a little bit of yellow, same kind of thing, clear, but I just barely, you can see it. All it does is tint. Can you, can you see that drip through? Let me see. Yeah. You can see right through it. So you see right through that color. So that's what we're going for there. That smells so bad. <laughs> but also, we have bags. We buy about an ounce and a half ounces. You gotta be careful traveling down the road with this. So we got a couple of You're couple of pearl colors. Getting a little bit everywhere. Yeah. So you can't you can't really see if you're just looking at the color. A good way to check out a color on pearls is, uh, and then this won't go away. But you can kind of just looking at it. I started to. Uh, you can see basic finger, right? So if I put a little bit on my finger, and I wipe it in. You can kind of see. Do you see the color change in there? Can you see that sort of kind of? Kind of. But if I'm looking at it, it's got a gold color to it, which is going to work with the green or with the uh, orange. And then I've got like an orange pearl here. So that's kind of a good way to see what your pearl is going to look like a little bit. So again, we've mixed up our pearls in the clear. And it just looks like, wow, can you, can you see the how it's moving on the top there? Oh, yeah. You can see that in there? Yeah. So you're seeing the swirl around, but you really even can't see it on the stick. It's just clear. So I've got colors that are going to mostly shine in the light. Um, if you're a painter and you're trying to color match colors, there's a face and there's a flop. So if I'm, I'm painting a, a fender and a door, I may have my face looking right. The color might be you know, a good match. But then if I look on the, on the side, there's a flop. And then the, what that is, a lot of cars are metallic. It's, it, a lot depends on how that metallic is standing. I mean, sometimes uh, at the factory, the robots will paint the car up and down like this, where normally on a, you know, we paint the car going sideways. Uh, sometimes you might have to paint the car going up and down to make a, a color match because the, the the flake in the metal flake is, is laying a different way or it's laying up on edge or whatever. So we're dealing mainly with the flop.
flop here. The face, you'll be able to see it some, but the flop, not so much, is where you're really going to see it. And you're really going to see it out in the light. I doubt we're going to be able to see anything in here, but we put a hard edge there. Can you even see that on the? Yeah. You can see that? Okay. So we put a hard edge there to see what that color was. We, we blended it in here to see what that would look like. We kind of blended down with one of the one of the uh, transparent colors going into that to back it off. This is another one of the pearls. We've got a different uh, different pearl here. We did two or three different hard edge pearls on here just to see what what we got going on. And then we did some test panels on the uh, on the actual flames to see what we got going on. not the way I should pull this the way you should be pulling it. I will do that here in a second. There's a technique for pulling the tape off once you put flames on or any any kind of graphic really. And the technique would be not just whack it all off like I just did. Get all the other tape off, pull back against your paint like that. If you're pulling straight up like this so coming along it, if you're pulling like that, there's a good chance uh, you might lift up and peel the paint that you just put on. So you can kind of you can kind of see that it's there. Can you see it? Yeah. This has been sanded, so once you put clear on it, it's gonna. And again, I'm I'm looking at the face as one way, and if you look at the flop, it's another way. And this is just one example of what we did. We did it a couple different ways on here just to see. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with what we got going on. So we're ready to get going. We were hoping to have paint on the car this weekend, but we had a little more work that we wanted to do on the car itself. So it is being, it's ready to go. We got these pieces in here. Again, you can take the big stuff off first. but I try to be pretty careful when I pull against the flames, I pull it back against like that. Ed did these, I didn't do it. I'm a stickler for putting the tape on top of the neck so when you pull it, it all comes off in one big line instead of little pieces. So pull the tape like that. I'm pulling back against this since it's all coming off. See, if you tape on top of it right, or if I'd have pulled the other direction, that would have kept on pulling. You can take a good way to do this. Doing it with your finger is not a good idea, but if you carefully take it with an X-Acto, put your glasses on so you can see what you're doing. <laughs> this is bad. I don't even see what I'm doing down there. But you can peel it up. That way you're, you're not getting your finger in the paint, and you can be a little more exact there. So, I can't see it. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> you can see it? You want a little lighter? Kind of. Darker? Some directions you can't see it. Hmm? Some directions you can't see it. So it depends <coughs> how you look at it. Well, and then this is a little duller. We've wet sanded this. Now something that really, and you, I don't know if you can see it on, yeah, some directions you can see it pretty good, some you can't see it at all. I don't like a lip here. I don't like a lip here at all. It looks like a stencil. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and clear this. And depending on the type of flames that you do, um, you may be building it up pretty good. Um, so there's going to be a you know a regular drop off there. Make sure it's kind of clean. You don't want to really sand on this after you got it done. Go ahead and clear the whole thing. If you've got extreme uh, depth there where you can really still see the line you might want to wet sand it one more time get it off some don't go through the clear and then clear it one more time after that but uh, yeah uh, the paint job with flames that you can see the outline of the flames and it looks like a stencil is not not my idea of a quality job so let's go talk about laying out flames a little bit 
here's the one I like. Okay. Airbrush, does the airbrush work? I mean, so different kind of airbrushes. Here's a nice little uh, compressor. You can use it with a big compressor and just put a regulator on it too, but um, there's a bunch of nice brushes. Brushes have come a long way in the last 20 years. But um, get yourself the best brush you can afford and then practice some. Just make some test panels do uh, different colors. You can do, I mean, just do a lot with an airbrush. So anyway, let's, let's lay out a few flames. Here, do you have some tape? All right. All right, this car has been painted. <coughs> and it's been uh, quiet on the set back there. Are you, are you sneezing into the, to the camera? No, I sneezed away from the camera. So it's been painted. It's got a flat look now. It has been sanded, totally sanded. I mean, so this thing is pretty smooth. If I wanted to buff it right now, I could buff it. And, and have a slick paint job. So we were hoping to have flames on it today, but it, we just spent a lot more time sanding than we, we expected. So I like to put, you could put the flames on top of your base coat without the clear. I just like to go on top of the, of the, the base coat with a clear, let it dry, get it wet sanded. You can see everything. You can make sure you've got a really good paint job. If you've got any issues anywhere, you can always sand them, touch them up, and do. Plus, once you put your tape on, there's going to be some some areas and we talked to Rodney, this is the style of flame that we're going to use. So um, There's lots of different styles. Flame Friday worked out good. People sent us different uh, styles, so this is a style that Rodney liked. Um, there's no door on this side. If you got a door, I like to go. Let's do the door side. I like to go in the jam. So say I'm I'm coming out. We're going to start our flames coming out this way, but say I'm going to come out here with with my flames. Bob's just over here spitting out flames like it's nothing. here you've got an issue with obviously I want a sharp point here. And this is another good reason to put clear on the car. I like a razor razor knife like this one. It's nice sharp delicate edge. Use a sharp razor. I can go ahead so I've got two pieces of tape there so I got one of them cut I didn't cut hard enough to cut through two of them. I can cut through that second one. I'm not going to do it on this just, just because I don't need to because that's not where the flame is going to be. Um, with the clear on here, now if I get into the clear just a little bit, no big deal. When you clear on top of it, it's going to hide that. Now if I do that and on my base and I cut into my base a little bit, it's going to mess up my metallic and you could possibly see where this razor knife cut. And you're going to have to you're going to have to trim inside edges like that. There's just no way around it. On the edges here, and you can you can see the gap here. 
this is called fine line tape. There's different colors. There's green, there's blue. This the blue is a little nicer, nicer tape. I like it. It works. It's much more flexible. It's a vinyl tape. Uh, eighth inch is good for pulling flames. A quarter inch is good for filling gaps or doing a bigger outside. And then once you start filling in the the edges here. There's no one way to do it. I mean, there's a lot of ways to do flames, and I, by far, am not the expert. I'm just doing things that people have been doing for years and years. But make sure that when you tape on top of that, that you're covering it, you don't have a little gap between the edges. Because it, it would be very easy for me to come across here and think I'm going across that. Can you see that little bit of orange in there? Be careful you don't get spots like that because when you go to paint your flames you're going to wind up with that little dot out in the middle of nowhere and you'll be like oh you can take and wet sand it off it's not not tragic now if you look down in here you see the gap in there you see that gap I'm pushing it yeah. okay make sure all those are tight I don't I mean for sure don't like to mask flames one day and paint them the next day um, it may take you, it, for sure, it takes you a whole lot longer to lay out your flames than it does to uh, to airbrush them. And as soon as you're done, it's like, man, I did all that layout for just two minutes worth of work here and then and taking it off. But I get around on the door. I'm going to cut this halfway. Make sure I push them around good. Open the door here, you can see, well, and you can see now, even if I mask it off there, you're going to see some of that orange. I don't want to leave it like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and go in Oh, that would be a, a significant difference. You know, I don't want to go so far where it doesn't look right, but I don't want it to be so close to the edge where I can see that orange. I want the flame to kind of go into the jam. So you can kind of see that flame is going to go all the way to where I'm going to see it there. Can you see that on the camera? So it's masked off there. It's going to be masked off tight. There is no stopping. You can do, I mean, you can do whatever you want, and no matter what you did, you can always make it a little bit better. I have in the past, didn't stop or didn't stop with a line. I would build on something like this. I would probably come around. I could make a lick going in this way, so I could actually start the flames inside. So it looks like flames are coming out of the jam when your doors are open also. That's always possible. And now that I said that, Rodney, it's not done yet, so... <laughs> but you better let us know quick because it'll be like this otherwise. So we're there, mask it all off good. Lots of styles out there. Nothing new. Oh, we can pull that off later. Peels off pretty good. You can have long tips, you can have short tips. If you're going to have your tips in a in a woven with each other, which doesn't work real well on a, on a ghost type plane. Um, it, it's just not pronounced enough, so it looks more confused than it does, <laughs> like your flames are interwoven. But um, some classic stuff. After I talked about Flame Friday, I was looking on the wall. I mean, flames have been around for a while. We've done, I don't know how many flames I've laid out in the past doing this for 40 years, but a lot of flames, a lot of different styles. And, True Fire is coming on. It's not just it's not a new fan anymore. It's been around for a while, but the True Fire flames are cool and and old school scallops are cool and graphics are cool. So um, anymore too, they're doing wraps on cars that, that making these things look. You're putting a portrait on the side of a car. So anyway, some old school flames. Uh, it's going to have color on it today. Finally, 
So it's got color on it, it's going to have the flames on it and clear today. Make sure your prep under the flames is right. I mean, there's nothing worse than trying to clean up something that ain't right once you put your graphics on it. I mean, the paint job has got to be right. Um, on our hinges, we'll pull these off and polish these. It, it just works out cleaner. Careful around hinges, though, everything is sanded because if your flames are going to go through a hinge, it's, it's just one of those areas that wears pretty good. Um, there it is. It's going to be cool. This is the 2XLT. It's got an extra four inches up in the front here. It's got an extra four inches built in through here. And what would be the standard T coming together, looking pretty good. So here we are. We're to the time of the books. You got a choice? Mm, that one. This one. Pass it on. So this is your handbook of happiness. Pass it on by Ernie O. Gilcrease, the hot rod man. Oh, this is a good one. I'm going to work on my grandchildren. My children are already, it's too late for them. <laughs> when we teach our children to share, we share with the world. Got it? When we teach our children to share, we share with the world. So, Hopefully I shared a little bit of what I know and I, I learned it from someone else. It wasn't like I figured it all out by myself. Maybe if you're lucky in your lifetime you come up with a new idea here and there. But generally we just build on each other's information and, and the wealth of, of experience. And we, when we share that, then we can all do it. So hopefully you want to build your car without flames. That gives you an idea. Don't, don't fret over it. Just go for it. Make a test panel or two. Paint them. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, do it again. Till tomorrow.